Hey everybody, this is DM Mike, and this is the next soundtrack recommendation for your fantasy campaign. Now, I think the last uh, soundtrack recommendation we kind of focused on Star Wars. Now we're going to bring it on back to Sword and Sorcery, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons, whatever you like to play. Now, this uh, I'm going to give you three albums right out of the gate. Uh, you can find these on Bandcamp. I think two of them you can find on Amazon. I don't remember, but I'll put the band uh, Bandcamp links down below. And here they are, wherever I decide to put them. Here's the first two, at least. The first two. Uh, this is done by the same composer. These are really, really good. There's not as many slow songs. It's got, it's got a lot of good cadence. It's got a lot of good, um, I don't know, I feel like high energy songs. There's some songs that you can kind of snap along to and have a good time with. These play really, really nicely. I don't actually use them though, for me personally, in a tavern setting. <laughs> Even though I know it's exactly why these things were created. But I actually use them as uh, music that I play in the room as people are coming in. I, I stumbled upon these albums uh, towards the end of the Dragons of Ice Pirate Peak playthrough number two, and that's when I started using them. So I think they still work great in a tavern setting if you like to do that, have music and all that kind of stuff flowing all the time in your campaigns. Definitely go pick these up, or at least go listen to them if you're on Bandcamp, right? Now the third one is also on Bandcamp, and I forgot the name of this one. I think it's kind of got a similar name. It's like Tavern Music Volume 1, which is the way all of these seem to be labeled. This one I will recommend second. Um, it's still pretty good. It's, it's 10 songs, but it's laid out in a uh, very formulaic. It's got fast song, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. So a half the album is slower songs. Now, I don't mind slow songs. Sometimes you need those to break up the more faster, higher cadence songs. But I don't like a lot of slow songs, I guess, in my taverns uh, or my cantinas, or, you know, or whatever you're playing in. I, just, I don't know. I, just, I don't want too many of those. So I highly recommend those first two. This one is a supplement. Just take, you know, a matter of fact, I think you can buy them by track, I think, on Bandcamp. I don't remember now. It, it's better just to buy the whole album. But, you know, you could buy that whole album, kind of intersperse it with the other two and highlight stuff. I have a huge playlist now of tavern music. It's over an hour long. But I that third album... I didn't use quite a bit from it, but the five tracks that are there that are more, you know, uh, I don't know, finger snapping, kind of jovial, are pretty good to supplement. So anyway, I recommend all three, strongly those first two, go listen to them on Bandcamp. You can listen to it for free and make a decision. It is super cheap, and if you like playing music in your cantinas, cantinas, I'm, st I'm, I'm stuck on Star Wars right now, uh, in your taverns or your inns, or if you just want some music like I do, uh, as people are coming in and talking and breaking down the last session and whatnot, and have some little, you know, uh, kind of that thematic renaissance fair almost type music, then these albums will work great. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. See you in the next one.